What's going on YouTube gang? It's Metal DFS coming to you live and direct. Here to give you my favorite plays for DraftKings and FanDuel for today. Today is Monday the 27th of July. Hope everybody's having an amazing day. Feel free to like the video. Please subscribe to the channel. Press that bell icon to always stay notified for new videos. Let's jump right into the slate, y'all. It was nine game main slate, but we do have seven games due to the fact two teams have been postponed because of COVID concerns. So wish them well for those that have been affected. Um, so uh, let's get right into these plays. Going to first pitcher. We do have a little, you know, mediocre pitchers here. Might have to pay low and pay big elsewhere with the batters. But going with the first play, I like Josh James going against Seattle here. He is 8,600 on DraftKings, but you get him cheaper on FanDuel for 6,700. Uh, Seattle hasn't been doing well, especially against right-hand pitches. Uh, pitchers in which... Uh, they average around a 24.8 strike rate against right-hand pitchers. And it's a great play for Josh James, in my opinion, here. Um, he did have a small sample size against them. And he had four hits out of 15 pitches with a 267 batting average against the Mariners here. Uh, but he has his best hits uh, against righties. Um, he has a 684 OPS against righties, which is going against four righties. Uh, he has five lefties, in which he still average a four, uh, 724 OPS against lefties. So it's a good spot for uh, this, this play. Hopefully, you give around like that 15 to hopefully 18 Fanes points, but they projected him get around a 19.2 Fanes uh, projection play for Josh James. All right, now let's go for a cheaper play for GPP play. They do have Steven Brault. Uh, he is 4,300 on DraftKings. Now, FanDuel, they have him priced up to, was it 5,000? 5,900 uh, on FanDuel. But the uh, reason why I like this play, you know, he has a 20 hits out of 87 pitches. He has a 230 batting average against them as well. Now, this is a hot team, but I like the fact that, you know, just his history against them 11, 18, 12, 14, 16 uh, in the past five games against them. Uh, due to the fact that I like that play, just the fact that he's only $4,300. So if you get somebody that's $4,300 to give you that type of uh, upside, uh, if he can give you 12 to even 15 fancy points, I, I'm, I'm okay with that, especially with this price tag and help pay elsewhere on the, on the bats. So that's another play I like here uh, for Steven Brault. Um, as my second pitcher of GPP. All right, let's go to our batters, going to first baseman. All right, targeting the first baseman play. Looking at Mitch Moreland. All right, going against the Mets here. He is going against uh, Michael Walker, um, in which he, has, he has a small sample size. He only got one for one with a single, a 2.0 OPS. But I like the fact that he has a great uh, stat against them. He has an 887 OPS against right-hand pitchers, and which Michael Walker has a, a, a 8, 874 OPS against left-hand bats. So to me, is a great play. They're looking at a uh, 11 over and under play in this uh, in this game as well. 3700 on DraftKings. You could get him cheaper on FanDuel for 2900. Mitch Moreland to me is a great play as your first baseman. Looking to for your lines here. Uh, going to our second baseman to go to Jordy Mercer. All right, going against Kansas City here. He's 3,000 on DraftKings, but give him FanDuel for 2,100. Now he is 4 for 11 against Montgomery, a 364 batting average against him. Has two singles, one double, one home run, averaging a 1.1 OPS against Montgomery, in which he has his best hits against left-hand pitchers at an 896 OPS. So I like this play for Jordy Mercer here. Um, he also has a 3.11 on base percentage as well. So, Jordan Mercer, that's my second baseman, somebody I want to consider here. Also, looking at a 10 over under play in this uh, game as well. All right, let's go to our next play. Going to go to the outfielder. Want to go to Nick Castellanos. All right, going against the Cubs. He's 4,500 on DraftKings. Looking at 3,400 on FanDuel. He has a 7 out of 12 uh, against Lester here. He has a 583 batting average, 7 out of 12 with a 2.0 OPS, three singles, one double with three home runs against Leicester, a 1.138 OPS against left-hand uh, pitchers. He crushes lefties, and John Leicester has a 8, 829 OPS against righties. This is a great play overall for Nick Castellanos here as my play outfitter. So 
these are my favorite five plays y'all like the plays give a thumbs up any questions all you have to do is comment below also follow me on twitter for any questions as well as you see i have draft dashboard tools so you want access to these tools click the link in my description once you sign up you have access to the top players mlb cheat sheet you have the position optimizer to check out the stats 24 7 live data sleepers and your studs click on the watch players you get access to my plays as well you see watch mail dfs picks button up top for either DraftKings or FanDuel and also check it out you have your lineup optimizer in which you could generate a quality GPP or cash lineup so it's a great tool to use you see you can just click on GPP or cash depending on what type of tournament you want to play you also have the mass lineup generator as well and we have two uh, tutorials to see how to use these tools um, effectively so if you like these definitely check the link in the description y'all so I love y'all y'all collect that bag it's Mel DFS and y'all stay blessed and I'll see y'all in the next video.